Well, fishers, I really don't know where to tell you to go because, uh, look, we're spoiled for choice at the moment. The fishing's fantastic everywhere. Well, in most places. Um, if you've got a few days off, uh, it's going to be a dilemma because do you go and chase redfin? Do you go and chase trout? Do you go and chase cod and yellows? Look, it's all happening. Just get out there, perfect weather. Uh, it's going to be a great weekend by the looks of things. Dartmouth, good. Um, some people have done really, really well down at Dart. Others, not so good, but you know, you find a patch and you'll get plenty of trout at the moment. All the streams down there are great, and uh, Victorian streams, really, really good. Hume Weir, very special at the moment. Yeah, we're only talking about redfin. There probably is the odd yellow and cod, but nobody cares about them at the moment down there. They're all chasing reddies and some very good sizable fish getting caught. Soft plastics, bait, whatever you want to do. If you look around, you'll find the fish. Uh, look for the uh, birds working or eight, nine, ten metres of water, six metres of water, even three or four metres of water. Uh, we fished it on Sunday and just cleaned up. It was tremendous. If you need any info on how to fish it, where to go, come in, ask. We'll go right through the process with you. Mawala. Uh, it's not bad. Plenty of weed there. A uh, few cod. They're getting a few. It's not going crazy, but uh, it's certainly worth being down there. Trolling seems to be pretty productive, so, yeah. You might not get that dozen a day, you might get one or two or three a day, but at least you're catching something. Murrumbidgee River here, up and down like a yo-yo at the moment, sitting at about two and a bit over two and a half metres, 2.8 I think it is. Uh, the water temperature's come up a bit, it's back up to a bit over 15, nearly 16 degrees. Uh, looking pretty promising, bait fishermen are doing alright, it's clean enough to lure fish. Has got a little bit of colour in it the last couple of days because of the uh, really quick rise in height and it washes the banks away a little bit. I think that's where that comes from. Um, but won't be long, it'll clear up. Uh, Tumut River, uh, it's up for a bit over 3,000. It's going to be hard for most fishermen who don't fish a lot. Anyone that fishes a fair bit should have a little bit of success there. Blaring Dam, still getting some good reports of redies. A uh, few cod, uh, but you've got to work pretty hard there, to be honest with you. It's not going crazy. It's not my favourite spot at the moment. Talbingo, plenty of redfin out of Talbingo and the odd trout. Lead lining at Talbingo seems to be the best way to go. You can bean, ginderbine, not bad. Bait fishing's good, trolling seems to be quite okay. Some are catching, some aren't. Now that's typical of fishing though. Tantangra, most everybody's catching a few fish there. A lot of small trout, heaps of small ones at the moment. Uh, trolling with little yakamitos or uh, trolling with tazzies. Uh, Little black crick hoppers, uh, brown crick hoppers being a little bit better actually. Hasn't been too bad at all in the shallows, so a bit of activity there. But the hot spot at the moment for cod, Wangler Dam, it's cracking, I tell you now. A uh, mate of mine, Garth Collins, picked up a couple of meteries on the weekend. He said it was a real hot bite, there was plenty of fish caught. Um, doesn't matter where you are up there, you'll catch fish pretty well, but obviously. You need to know a bit about the dam, you need to know a bit about technique. All these fish were caught on the cast that I was, uh, from the boys I was speaking to, and uh, they've done exceptionally well. It's the hot spot at the moment. Bar and Juck, some good redfin coming out of the Juck, especially up around that Wade Island area. Some really nice size fish too. Uh, soft plastics, uh, hard bodies, jigs, doesn't seem to matter a great deal, but you will catch a few up there. Haven't heard of a lot of cod or yellows, but most people tend to be targeting the reddies, although the cod fishermen tend to keep it a little bit quiet. I don't know why. Uh, they reckon they invented it. But anyway, uh, there is a few good cod getting caught, I can assure you. Uh, so if you need any more information, good luck, give us a yell, and we'll give you a rundown.